Alice. Let's do this. Hello, my name is Alice and I am half of Lions, Tigers and Beauty and today I thought I would film my gyro favourites instead of writing a blog post. Um, I've never done this before so please be kind but yeah, I'm just going to jump right on into it. Um, I'm going to start with a little bit of skincare. Uh, first of all, I have been loving uh, Lizelle's Cleanse and Polish. I know for a lot of people this is an uh, old favourite but this is actually my first ever try of the product and do you know what I've been really really enjoying it um I've been finding my skin can be quite angry but this seems to really calm it down and I love using this at night before I go to bed because it's all rather calming next up I've got um a product from Aesop uh this is their chamomile concentrate anti-blemish mask to begin with with Aesop I kind of thought it was style over substance because I reckon the packaging is like bang on point it looks beautiful but I could never justify this plunge of buying anything from them. Just so you guys know they have a £24 hand wash and as beautiful as the glass jar will look in my bathroom can't justify £24. That being said I really do actually like this mask um, it doesn't it smells like natural it smells good and it seems to really work well with my skin and I like putting it on and it's good recommended for me. I've only got one hair care item this month and it's for volumising your hair. It's the Swartz Off Got To Be Powderful. And the reason I really like this is because a lot of volumising products are aimed at people with quite fine hair, which I understand obviously that makes sense because they probably want a bit of volume with it too. But because I've got quite a lot of hair, um, my hair is quite heavy. So my hair also, I'd love to have a little bit of volume. And I found that this does help me a lot and I think would also work well with people with fine hair. Um, it's just like a powder and you can either rub it in your palms and rub it in your hair or pop it straight on the roots and massage it in and yeah I've been really really enjoying it and it's really cheap as well you can get really expensive ones but I find this one's doing the job really well by these favourites you can probably tell I have been watching a lot of best of 2013 videos um, because I've got a lot of sort of cult products this month which I've picked up um, one being the Sachet V top coat and I've heard loads of things about it and oh I don't know it's just one of these things I don't know why I've put it off for so long before I actually went out and got it. Believe the hype. I am crap at doing my nails. I always always smudge them and I don't when I use this so thumbs up for me. Speaking of best of 2013 videos there are two products that I've been loving from Essie Buttons one which she has made me go out and buy them. Um, I think she's great. Her chat, I'll link her channel below and fun stuff like that. Uh, first one is the Nukes Rev de Meal Lip Balm. It's in a fancy glass jar and it's just brilliant. It's just really, really great. Um, I've always been kind of thinking about whether to go for the Balm de Rose or uh, the Terry version of it as well, but this one's cheaper and this one's absolutely fantastic. You can also get it in a stick, so if you'd prefer that rather than dipping your finger in. But I don't know if you can tell by the consistency, it's quite matte, like it looks quite matte when I know a lot of sort of lip balms leave your lips like really sort of like glossy looking like you've just slapped like a load of Vaseline on them, which is fine, but I think this one, oh it's just brilliant, it just does what it says on the tin, which I love, I just love products that do what they say, and this one definitely does, it makes my lips feel fantastic, absolutely fantastic, and it stays there as well, it's not like worn off in two seconds so you've got to reapply, and it doesn't just put a film over your lips, like it, it moisturises them, it makes them better. So, big recommendation for that one. The next product is the Body Shop Honey Bronzer. Um, I'm in the shade 01 because I'm rather pale, but I just think it's a brilliant shade for particularly pale people because it doesn't look brown, it doesn't look like a, like a muddy streak on your face, it doesn't look too red, it doesn't look too orange, it just looks like you've got kick-ass cheekbones. So yeah, I think this is great. I think this is well worth the money. I think it's about £13 around that. We're, and I think it's great. Pick it up. The next one is a fairly recent discovery. Um, I actually put it in my wishes post and I caved and I bought it and I'm so glad I did. I haven't had it that long but I know it's going to be a lifelong session. It's the NARS Concealer. I'm in the shade number one. Light one, which is Chantilly and it's just beautiful. I reckon this is the perfect handbag concealer. You can chuck it in your bag, it can cover blemishes, it can cover like where your foundation's worn off, go under your eyes. I just think it's 
absolutely fabulous. It's like a doe fat applicator, like right there. Um, uh, it's super bendable, like you don't need a brush, you could just use your finger, it works. Beaut it's just beautiful. It's just, it is just beautiful. And I know it costs £21, but I don't regret it. I don't regret it. I think this is, it's just, it's just gorgeous. It, it's just gorgeous. I'm going to take it back to High Street now with a product from Rimmel. I have been absolutely adoring and wearing through most of the month actually the Scandalize Eye Paint in Rich Russet, which is number six. This is another great on the go product. You can just pop a bit on your eyelid and use your finger to work it in. Although personally, I do like um, buffing it around the edges with a brush. And I think it looks really nice with liquid eyeliner. And it's really long wearing and it's just a really nice product. Another thing I've been really enjoying doing in January is curling my eyelashes. It's something I always kind of neglect to do, but whenever I do it, I really like the effect. Um, the ones in particular I've been using are the Kevin Aquan uh, eyelash curlers. You don't need as expensive ones if you haven't done them before. I mean, see if you like the look. Um, but yeah, I think these ones in particular can get really, really close to the lashes and they do the job. The next product I'm going to mention is a really recent purchase and the reason I'm mentioning it is because I personally thought it was completely sold out and you couldn't get hold of it anymore but you can, it's cropped back up on the NARS website it's the NARS uh, One Night Stand Cheek Palette This one features four blushes, a highlighter and a bronzer three of which are like cult classics from NARS they've got Deep Throat, Orgasm and Laguna in there so if you've been wondering when, whether or not to take the plunge and pick them up I would literally rush to the website and pick this up now if you want it. It's £45 but for six NARS products I think that's really really good value to be honest with you. And I've been playing about with them for a bit and I've been loving them. They are so pigmented I swear I'm never going to need to buy another NARS blush again. But yes, if you want it, go get it. I also thought I'd throw in a couple non-beauty favourites. First one being my Vagabond Dion boots. These guys have not left my feet. So many people have complimented me on them and I'm actually kind of glad that I got them in the khaki colour rather than the black because I have enough black boots but I have none in this colour and I think it's really unique and goes with a lot of stuff and oh they're just gorgeous. They're so well made. They don't even feel like you're wearing heels. You are and they go with so much. Oh, such a great investment. My next non-beauty favourite is this book by Lou Theroux. I am a massive Lou Theroux fan. I I think he's brilliant. I think he's great at this job. And I never realised he did a book before until I walked into a bookshop and saw this. And basically this book is him going back and visiting some of the prominent characters in like with the Weird Weekend series. And so if you found them really interesting, he visits them like 10 years later. And so far so good. I also thought I'd mention this, so if I told the entire world that I was reading a book, hopefully next month I'll have another one. So, stay tuned! Thank you so much for watching. Um, sorry if I'm a bit rah, but as I said, I have never done this before. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching it, and I'll see you soon. Bye!